Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Karen and today I will be talking about Tipping the Velvet by Sarah Waters. Okay, so I am so excited to be talking to you guys about this book because I have wanted to read Sarah Waters for a really long time and I finally got the book and I finally was able to read it and I have to say that I absolutely adore it. So Tipping the Velvet is the first novel that Sarah Waters ever wrote and it is set in Victorian London. Well, Victorian England. And it follows a girl by the name of Nan, Nancy, who was born in an oyster town. She lives a very small, quiet life with her family. Um, her family runs a restaurant, so her life is pretty small and pretty normal, I guess. She loves the theater, so one day she goes to the theater to see an a show there and she sees a woman by the name of Kitty Butler and Kitty Butler is a male impersonator. Now I had no idea that male impersonators were a really big thing during this time but apparently they were. It's basically a woman who is an actress who dresses up like a guy and sings songs and you know just dances around. So Nancy sees Kitty and completely falls in love with her. Completely. And when I mean completely, I mean completely. I mean, <laughs> she's just head over heels in love with Kitty. She continues to go to see Kitty during her act. And, um, yeah, so they form a bond and a relationship. So the book follows Nancy from the ages of 18 to 25 when she's in London. And she definitely has a very, very interesting life. She meets a lot of people and she changes a lot. So. I love the book because it was really what a novel should be. It has the right amount of drama, the right amount of romance, a very interesting main character, and it's just a really fun book that you get through super quickly. I finished this book in about two days, really honestly in about a day because I have like 50 pages left on the second day, which was crazy because this book is big. So yeah, the main three reasons why I love the book was one, because I really like how fast paced it was. There was always something going on and there was a lot of different situations that the main character found herself in so you weren't really stuck in the same place for a really long time. The second reason why I really liked the book was because I thought that it had great supporting characters. I kind of naively went into thinking that it was going to be a romantic tale between Nan and Kitty and that's what the book was going to be about but it wasn't at all. It really is kind of a coming of age story. For Nan and she meets a lot of people along the way. She has quite a lot of girlfriends and um, they're all very different so I really like that. Kitty was completely different than Diana. Diana was completely different than Florence. And the third reason why I really also like the book was because like I said it's just entertaining. It's it's a book that like I said there's always something happening and I guess it's a really lame third reason because that's kind of what I've been talking about this entire video but there's just a lot of excitement in this book and there was definitely moments in the book where my mouth was just hanging open because I could not believe what was happening I could not believe what Nan was doing or you know the situation that she found herself in so this is a really really fun read not only did I read Tip in the Velvet, I also watched the miniseries here on YouTube. Um, you can find it if you want, you just search Tip in the Velvet and it's going to be the first thing that comes up. It's a BBC miniseries and I enjoyed it. I mean, it wasn't amazing. There was definitely a lot of cheesy parts to it and a lot of, um, you know, I guess bad acting, <laughs> unfortunately. But um, it did stay true to the book in a lot of ways, which I really liked. and. The main girl who played Nan was just, she fit Nan perfectly and even though I wasn't completely in love with all of her acting choices all the time, I thought that she looked the part and the, the woman that played Kitty was just stunning and amazing and wonderful. Um, there are some differences between the book and the miniseries, so if you have already watched the miniseries and you're not really thinking about getting the book because you already know what's going to happen, um, there are some differences. The ending is very different. so. Um, yeah, if you watch the miniseries, you can definitely still check out the book. And if you have read the book, definitely check out the miniseries because it's a really, it's an okay adaptation and it's always nice, I think, to kind of compare, um, you know, a, a, a novel with the adaptation of it. So yeah, Tipping the Velvet is absolutely fantastic. I loved it. It's definitely a book that I will reread. Yeah, thank you very much if you watched this video and bye.